morning. I have, I heard from my sister. She's starting therapies Tuesday. I don't really remember what day. The only thing that goes through my mind is, oh, more. <laughs> like, okay. More therapies. No, I'm not ecstatic about doing this. So, Le Pen. Le Pen loses. But who really is surprised? I don't know, maybe I'm just a cynical American. It's kind of like, if she wins, my whole thought process on Europe goes out the window. She lost. No surprise. You know, if they can rig it here, and we're, I would say, pretty free, even though some of us think otherwise, but comparatively speaking, we're wild animals. You know Europe. All that goes through my mind is when Scotland was trying to get out of the UK. And I remember the video of the stack of yeses were in the, the no side. And they, they wrote it in. They didn't use voting machines. I was like, yeah. Okay, so the voting machines aren't counting. But the minions are. So, still didn't work. And yeah, it's cold. I'm wearing a jacket. And it's been cold. But anyways, sidetracked because I just had a blast of cold air hit me. So Macron won. Same agenda. Merkel's running. I think Perkel pretty much just runs the EU anyways, but and they're going to do it their way. So you get into the, the thought process of, well, how bad does it have to get for people to stand up and say, all right, that's enough. This shit's for the birds. And I would say 30%. All those little terrorist attacks that we see. Unemployment. What is that to a nation? When the terrorist attack, only maybe, and I say maybe, affects 1% of the population. Oh, look, Paris got shot up again, but the rest of us are fine. As long as it never reaches that threshold, and you watch, they won't let it reach that 30% threshold. The people will be complacent. Squirrels are fighting. Anyways, those terrorist attacks aren't affecting to a big enough of the population for them to be upset. Even the rape capital, Sweden, it's not hitting that threshold. Oh, just don't go to that town, you'll be fine. That's the mentality. But there's only so much of a lid they can keep on it because it takes finances and resources. So you're going to reach that where it'll equilibrium will come out. Where it'll be, how much can we contain it into this area to how much we're still letting in and the people will let us do it. And finances and resources, eventually it will snap. That's why America, 
we put up with Obama for so long. Because the sheeple mindset, as long as you have your comfortable chair, food on your plate, it doesn't matter if you're employed or not. You're not going to do much to fight the government. And that's what the EU is betting on. Let them eat their cake. <laughs> oh. Some of the little best little side notes come from there. Oh boy. Well, they ain't chopping off heads this time, so. Should see some deer here soon. They move up to their daytime spot. So anyways, that's how to go. Same thing, more terrorist attacks. It'll always be minimum. Just enough to scare the population. And yeah, we need government. People will vote. Brexit may or may not happen, depending on who won the little war that's going on inside. And I'm betting, now that I've remembered, I'm betting on Brexit. But it's not going to be the kind of Brexit people were hoping for. More like a negotiation of power. That would be what it is. I think these squirrels are drunk. I got here this morning. The two detectives in the parking lot in plain clothes walking around. You can always tell plain clothes. They're not joggers. They don't work out. And you know you can outrun them. So, thinking, find a body or illegal activity. If I find those, I'm not coming back here. So, my Euro trip, <laughs> which is minus out the main continent. There you go. Oh my gosh. I'm getting excited for it. Now that I know that there's some Roman architecture there, really excited about it. Love history. morning. I love these days. There really isn't much. Oh, I'm going to tell you a story. I promised you guys a story the very last time. also said I would do some relationship ones, but I did catch on my little, um, I was testing that head camera, a couple walking through here. <laughs> I just don't think they're going to last. Maybe I got to find it and dig through that and put it up. So anyways, horses. Now, as a teenager, I worked at this barn and for payment, I wasn't old enough to get paid yet. Well, I wasn't old enough to legally work. But, yeah, I was young. It's like, okay, I'll muck stalls. In exchange, I get 
to ride a horse all the time, whenever I want, with some restrictions. Well, the horse that I got to ride all the time, his name was Ben. Ben was an Arabian. Ben was also a police horse. Good morning. And Ben was an asshole. I watched that Think Like a Horse guy. No, there are asshole horses. There just are. He wasn't a bad horse. I mean, he did everything I asked him to do. But he really had one of those personalities. Like, what the hell? I remember one time I was standing in the uh, indoor arena. Football field and a half. Something like that. It was hot as it always is here. Probably 90 something humidity, 60, 70%. So yeah, I'm sweating like a pig. Sweat all over me. I'm standing at his head. We were walking and somebody had called my name or anyways, we ended up stopping. And the next thing I, I noticed, he had my entire bicep in his mouth, sucking the salt off my arm. Obviously, kind of freaked me out because this 1,200 pound animal put my arm in his mouth. <laughs> and one of the, the other horse people said, well, bite him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-uh. I, oh my god, I hopefully, nah, fuck it. He ran off. I just saw a falcon. He was literally at tree level. Well, at one of those thin branch levels. I hate those bitty. And he, anyways, he was, he was a butthole. That was not the only thing he's done to me. Besides, I mean, he didn't put holes in my arm or anything like that. It did scare the shit out of me. Are you guys hearing that? There's not supposed to be monkeys here, but I swear that bird has been hanging out at the zoo. It's that falcon. We're not talking about horses. We're going on any nature excursion. Yeah, it's that falcon. Apparently he doesn't like me too close to his nest. He must be here somewhere. Where is that nest at? Must be over there. He's getting really mad if I go in this direction. All right, I'll leave you alone. No wonder really don't want to get into a fight with that thing. Yeah, he's pissed off. Oh. Anyways, Ben used Ben was a police horse. See. Fairly laid back butthole of a guy. We would sit there and me and another girl. She had a Morgan. And her Morgan would suck wind so that strap wouldn't be tight. I rode Ben bareback all the time. put a pad on every once in a while I'll put a saddle on especially if we're gonna be going because it wasn't like I rode the whole time you get on ride walk then ride some more and then walk there's a falcon up there okay. yeah he's upset so his nest is there okay. 
warn them before they piss him off. Hopefully they don't move him. So anyways, we'd put, sometimes they would go up to the uh, high pasture, which just basically means it was on top of the mountain hill. And every once in a while, we'd have to go hunt them down because they didn't want to come down. They weren't by the gate. So, I don't know, what's it, 10 acres of hunting horses down? on foot because neither one of us at that time were smart enough to bring carrots and just break them and teach them to come to the sound she caught hers couldn't find Ben because unbeknownst to me at that time Ben was on duty so we'd all all over God in creation no saddles and we climbed up on top of her horse. <laughs> he was like, let's cut through the forest and not go around it. You know, direct line back to the gate. Get back to the barn. Horses are so smart. We get through there. Everything's fine. And it's a female. She's doing what we tell her, or what she's telling her, I just on for the ride. And all of a sudden, I'm getting pushed. And off the rear end I go. This horse found a low branch and scraped us off. Yeah. Ben was much funner. At least Ben didn't scrape me off. Ben would just run. All right, next story. If you haven't noticed, I'm by myself. My minion army has abandoned me. I don't wanna go, Mom. My legs hurt. Although Tyler did say to me, Mr. Marine Pulley, he was going to join me today. Oh, the things you notice when you go pick them up from the recruiter's office. <laughs> I won't say anything because I think they're watching. <laughs> Anyways. He was supposed to come to this trail on me trail on me, trail with me, so he can work up his endurance, because blah, blah, blah. Number two, screaming at him while I was there, pretty much to move his ass. I'm starting to sweat. So here in a minute, this coat's coming off and his hair is going up. So now all of a sudden Tyler wants to join me on these trips. Oh. 
always nice. See a plan come together. Usually my plans take months up to a year to come to fruition. It's always satisfying when they do. I see you. Oh, he's gonna look at me again. What are you doing? This is what happens when I'm completely by myself. I talk to animals and apparently cameras. I may be losing it. And on that note, it's time to get off and go run, maybe climb a tree by myself. Later, gators.